What's up guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Metrolink Bombardier by Love Coach. Now I have two cars here, this is the standard one, and right here is the cab control car. So um, right now this is not even in use anymore, it's been replaced by the Hyundai Rotom, which I'm still working on. Panda for day 7, he's going to commission this too, so I still have to do that. And the problem with this one, I need to figure out the length. But anyways, back to the Bombardi by the coach. I actually built this coach many tutorials on it. Unlike Caltrain, Tri Whale, uh, Go Transit, they have sort of like the same uh, coach, but just a different livery. But yeah, let's get started on this build. So first thing we do, let's say gray concrete, uh, two blocks above the tracks, three blocks wide in the middle. And we're gonna make it so it's seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Extend the other side. And then we're gonna switch it up to stone brick slab. You wanna go like a slab down. Uh, we can make it five blocks wide and 25 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Uh, now we're gonna go do the whole thing. It's gonna take us a long time since we don't have world at it. But I'm gonna do it anyways. And this is, since it's a bi-level coach, the floor is kinda low right here. So I think we're almost there. So once we reach the end, we're gonna do it the same thing that we did in the front. Let's go a slab, or rather, yes, yeah, slab taller. Right here with gray concrete, three blocks wide, seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing on this side. And then we're going to go and take quartz block. And let's add sort of like this. How tall is this? Five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five block tall quartz wall in the corners. Same thing in the front. And then we're going to add uh, part of the vestibule, <laughs> or the gangway as they call it, with the gray concrete. Let's add two more blocks right there, both sides. And then we're going to add cobblestone wall, uh, three block tall columns like that. And let's switch it up to stone brick slab, three on top then double at the bottom. Same thing on the other side. Right here, double and then add the cobblestone walls and then a stone brick slabs like this. So then we're gonna take out our stone slab like that. Go ahead and skip these three slabs, then add two and this is gonna be right below where the door is gonna be. Same thing on the other side, just skip three then add it. So then we're gonna take out purple concrete, I believe. Oh, never mind, blue terracotta. It just looks purple, and we're just gonna extend that all the way to where this door is gonna be. Same thing on this side. And just do it for all four corners. And this is our last one. Then we're going to skip these um, stone slabs and add it in the middle. Just continue that stripe, same thing over here. And then we're going to add iron doors, just add a double iron door above each of these pairs of stone slabs. And let's add an iron door right here for the gangway. 
Now for the next layer, we're gonna take quartz and just add it in these four corners right here, like that. Same thing over here. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Now there will be uh, this window right here in the corner, so it's gonna be uh, black sling glass block, skip a block at two, skip a block at one. The other side it looks to be the same thing on all four corners, so let's do that right over here as well. Just sort of space them out like that. And then we're gonna take out uh, purple or rather the blue terracotta as they see in the minecraft and just add it in between the windows and we can add it just two blocks past this iron door for both sides go to the other side do the same thing filling in between Sorry if you hear a vacuum noise. It's in the next room. All right, so then we're gonna add, um, what is this, four more? Four more for this side, so one, two, three, four, and then go to the other side, do the same thing. So it sort of should look like this. See their uneven stripes. Right, then we're going to add blue terracotta right above all the windows on this side. If we go to the other side, add it in the same corner. Just on the right side. And the rest of this layer is just going to be quartz, so let's just add that. All the way across. And I missed a lot of them. Let's do the other side, same thing. My wrist still feels kind of weird, so that sucks when I'm placing the blocks. It feels a bit of a pressure for some reason. I don't know. Alright, so next we're going to add this bedrock vent. So it's going to be two blocks right there right above this uh, double window and the other side it's just going to be one bedrock facing the inner part and the other side we're just gonna flip it all around so it's like the same if you actually flip the coach so then let's add quartz block right over here between this uh, blue terracottas stripe And then for the next layer, I guess we can add this part right here. Fill that wall in with quartz. And a bit of a wall right here, like a ceiling. Other side, same thing. Just fill this in. Go in across. And we can add three blocks of quartz right after the bedrock. And also add quartz before the bedrock as well. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then add it before. So then we're gonna switch it up to quartz slab, add a three by five right here. It's going to align with this bedrock. Do the same thing on the other side. So then we're going to fill in the roof with quartz blocks, so just go ahead and just fill in the whole entire roof. It's going to kind of take us a long time, but we're going to have to do it anyways because we don't have world edit. Yeah, it's actually the second time I'm recording this part because there was like a loud vacuum in the background and that was like really annoying to hear and I did not want to have it in my video 
right, so once we do this part, we're going to work on the windows. So, yeah. So then we're going to go ahead and add the windows. So just add two blocks, stained glass blocks, skip a block, add another one, and keep on doing that to reach the other end. Same thing on the other side. And after we do that, we're going to add four windows on the bottom. So just skip two away from this door and add that three windows so that there's uh, two blocks of space between that and the door. And then we can add quartz block right in between all the windows on top and the bottom. Rather, the bottom and the top because I did it backwards. Also, for the my model, I did not add a floor. If you want to add an interior, you probably should add that. But for mine, it doesn't have it because I don't really do interiors. See in that one there's no floor. So yeah. Alright, so now I guess we should add the wheels. So let's go down here. The wheels they're going to be well we're gonna skip two blocks away from the edge. So skip these two. Then add a hopper. And then we need three stone brick slabs and another hopper. So just do the same thing on both sides, and we're also going to add stone brick slab at the very edge, like this. Same thing on the other side, so just skip two away from the edge, um, hopper, three stone brick slabs, then hopper, and both sides. Just fill in the middle with uh, stone brick slabs and the edges with it as well. Sorry if you hear an ice cream truck. Probably you don't, but just get, just in case you do. All right, so let's take an inspection. I think that's it for this regular uh, coach. So now let's convert it into a cab coach. So this is the cab control car and we're gonna start off using iron bars. Just add that to the sides right here. And then we're gonna add, well, we're gonna replace this block with a glass block. So that's a window you can look out of. And then we're gonna replace this gray concrete with um, quartz block. Cause we do wanna have that pattern of purple and quartz. So it's gonna look like this. So let's take our blue concrete and just add it every other block, I guess. So I guess we're gonna get rid of that door that works and put that purple down and then we're gonna add, uh, did I add a redstone torch in front of it? Yes, I did. So add that. Then we're gonna add a stone button right underneath it. And I think I replaced this part as well with the gray concrete right there. And then the very bottom, let's add some more gray concrete like that. Uh, we can also take out a stone brick slab or stairs, have it upside down like that. Then right behind it is a stone brick slab like that. And then I think I added a twin light right here. So opened birch fence gate right there. And then on the very top is going to be a stone slab. And uh, I think it's a dispenser. Okay, observer. So stone slab in the middle. And then we want an observer. This is going to be our bell. Doesn't really look like a bell, but I like, <laughs> I just like it. And that's also the design I had on the other Lombardi by Love Coaches. So I think this is the last step that we're going to do. Just add 
these signs on the sides and that's just going to tell like what number it is so yeah I think that's pretty much it on how to build the Bombardi by Love Coach I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I'll see you guys next time bye